about, hey, we got to think about, once again, when we, if y'all was here in the beginning, we were talking about the spirit of the tabernacle, right? We talk about the spirit of the tabernacle because we know we're going into the wilderness again. We know we're going into the wilderness again, but this ain't going to be our first exodus, right? We know this. Uh -huh. okay? But let's just think about the first exodus and the tabernacles they had to go through. Mm -hmm. Or their time in the wilderness they had to go through. Mm -hmm. First of all, you just seen a whole bottle body of water standing up on both sides and you walking on the ocean floor. That's number one. But then number two, when we was in the wilderness traveling, he was a pillar of fire by, uh, by night mm -hmm. and a cloud by day. We already know what clouds is in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. right? What the world would call a, 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 a UFO, we would call a chariot. Let's imagine you walking, you see this thing. You feel me? A lot of us be playing with tabernacles, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I learned that about myself. We play with tabernacles and then expect to be in the spirit when we see all of that. Because one of y'all see, we, bro, we thought we saw, remember, uh, we saw Couple the day, yeah, after Bro, we saw the craziest thing, bro. Me, Java, uh, we was looking up. It was a ball of fire just moving. And a helicopter started coming up. Helicopter started following it, then it dropped and disappeared. Mm. Yeah, see about the too. So yeah. just imagine. In the air floating. And, just and it's just, it, it went, you know how like a firecracker, when it explodes and all the orange confetti come down? It was, we saw the light, it was a solid white light, it was flying, mm -hmm. then it just turned into confetti. Nice. You feel me? But just imagine if we would have saw what, let's say that was a chair. <laughs> I think it was cover a Cover a city, you just, all you gonna see is, it is low like that, so we gotta, we gotta expect to, Come to Tabernacles with a certain spirit, so we can be in the spirit when that stuff happens. That's right. Mm. You feel me? Cause I can't imagine looking at that stuff. I'll probably faint. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Go ahead, man. Sorry. You had a precept. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> maintaining that spirit with your Hawashah. I want to go to Ephesians two and the, uh two and twelve. Uh huh. And it reads that at that time ye were without uh, your Hawashah, Christ. Yeah. That's the way that, you know, the children of Israel always through all their captivity, they go away and be without the most high, right? Being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, mm -hmm. having no hope without Yahweh in the world. That's right. And that's the way we are right now. We're, we're in this world and we, we're bringing people back in the spirit of tabernacles to give that hope and to know that Yahweh Shai is the sanctuary at this point. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know that this is part of grafting in. Keeping these feast days, keeping these holy days, this is grafting back in. Mm -hmm. Again. Again. Time. 